Hit it. Yeah, back up. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I did it. What do we think about this recliner? Do we like it? I don't hate it. This is This is cute. Good, how are you? But also what we can also do as far as counter stools and bar stools. Mm -hmm. So anything appealing to you at a glance style wise? Mm. The one I like the most is the the one with the open back, but I don't think it's really practical. We have it in the, um, as we call the charcoal, we call that the, why am I drawing a blank on everything today? <laughs> Too much time off, I guess. The um, carbon is what we call. Okay, so here's what's happening. We are, this couch is actually really comfortable, so I'm kind of thinking about getting this for our bedroom um it would just be the normal couch with an armrest on that side y'all yeah, know i've had time trying to find a um recliner because bernie really wants a recliner and i really want um furniture that looks nice so it's been a struggle trying to find um something that fits the bill for both of us so I showed him that sofa. He was not sold on it, but we have to come back out here on the seventh because we're having, um, we're going to a comedy show out here on January 7th. So we'll come early and he can um, see if he likes it. He can sit on it and all that. So we're not actually buying the couch today, but what we are buying today is the chandelier and the bench for my bedroom because um, those are even cheaper right now than they were when I got the quote. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger on those. And then I'm thinking about going to RH and getting the table and coffee table today, but we'll see. I could also just order that online. I don't have to do it in store because RH is like 30 minutes away. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that today. I might just order it online or over the phone. Got my coupon, 10% off coupon. And I'm about to go in here and put in my chandelier and my bench. And just in case y'all don't remember what the bench looks like. So I still have to pay shipping for the bench though? Correct. Okay. Yes, ma'am. But then you are all set for... Um... Oh, but then I won't get... I would prefer they come together so they can do like love delivery for both. Okay. Well, then it would just be, it'll be marred. But okay. That's fine. that's fine. Yep. And I sometimes with the end, that's kind of thing. Because how heavy is it? <laughs> it's heavy. Yeah. I don't want to have to yeah. be responsible for moving that up the stairs and all that. It's heavy. So I would rather, you know, as long as you're okay with it, I would definitely say, if you can, let's wait on that. Yeah. I would prefer um, to wait so they can put it in place and okay. deliver it and all that. All right, y'all just made it back in the car. I was literally in there for like 
three and a half hours <laughs> because we were just talking about everything. I was looking at everything. I was taking my time. I was looking at the fabric samples and um, I wanted to look at the fabric that I got the bench in one more time before I ordered it. I had to get my coupon. We had to just go through all of the um, what's included and like the warranty and then what's included with the protection plan and just all the things that we needed we needed to talk about then we started looking at some tables we looked at some couches we looked at some um light lighting fixtures some additional lighting fixtures because y'all know we are also going to need um what are those things called uh what are they called uh above the island pendants we're going to need pendant lights too so we were looking at everything and just like talking and all that so um yeah i'm just leaving um, I got there just before 11 and right now it is 219. So yeah, about three and a half hours. So I'm about to head across the street. I think I'm going to go in Crate and Barrel and see what they have. Um, maybe look at some couches there too. And then I'm going to happy hour because I'm hungry. Um, happy hour starts at three. So I'm just waiting for three o'clock to roll around so I can go to Firebirds and go to happy hour because I love their happy hour oh and one other um cool thing i wanted to mention is that you only have to pay for half of your order with our house when you're doing a custom order you only have to pay for for half of it um when you actually place the order and then when the time comes for the order to like be shipped out that's when you can if you haven't added a protection plan you can, you have a chance to add it before the order goes out um and then you also have a chance to that's when you pay the other half so you don't have to pay it all up front so i'm about to, i paid the first half and i'm gonna pay it off this month and then um in february or march whenever the order is ready to ship most likely she said it would be march she said it right now it says it's march it could improve over time and maybe be sometime in february but we'll see so whenever it's about to ship is when i'll pay the other half so that makes it more affordable than other places because you can kind of split it up a little bit and just um you know give yourself a few months to pay the first half and then pay the difference i'm waiting for happy hour to start but i've been wanting to go in cotton on and see what they have Happy hour started at three, but it actually starts at four. So I am going to take myself to Crate and Barrel and do some looking around. Okay, so. I I just put this together with this vase and a few stems that they had inside Great and Barrel. What do y'all think about this for the island? Tell me if y'all think this is a good look or if I should keep looking. <laughs> that this floor and this garage need to be swept so I started sweeping it and then I was like let me record it 
So that's what we're doing. I'm about to um, just kind of straighten up the garage a little bit and bring y'all along. and I'm at food line I'm about to run in because he's going to his mom's house to hang out with um his family for new year's I'm staying home with the kids I don't feel like going nowhere I'll be here but I'm gonna make some I want some like seafood so I'm gonna make some crab dip some bang bang shrimp and some um calamari so I'm about to run in here also gonna go in uh, Walmart because they got the calamari and get everything I need and then we're gonna go home hang out for a bit cook dinner and then I'm probably gonna go to sleep because I'm tired All right, y'all, so it is ready. So we got the crab dip right here. We got the calamari with sweet chili sauce. And then we have our bang bang shrimp. Um, I put the bread in the oven so it could get toasted. So it's still soft on the inside, but crispy on the outside. And yeah, that's it. We ready to eat. I'm basically the same height as her. Lunch, I mean, dinner's over. That peach cobbler was so good. Like, I'm shook. It was really, really good. I'm about to do my skincare routine. 
because look at my face breaking out. So huh. the only way y'all gonna be able to see me is if I get down on my knees because y'all can't see me otherwise. I'm gonna have my tripod up here. Just finished helping Corey clean her room. And I'm about to lay down. And go to bed. Oh, that's tender. Her hair so bad. You need your head done so bad, girl. Uh -huh. You probably gone. I don't know where he is. Now your, your room is clean. Now you can go in it. Let's go. I just helped her finish cleaning her room. Go. You go. You're not sleeping in my room. No, you leave now. I'm talking to them. Okay, what? say goodnight. What if you said would be like Aria? All right, say bye. Bye. Now go. <laughs> They'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Mom, huh? who said there are some yummy treats? What yummy treats? There is Sour Patch Kids and Oreos. Oh, Miss Bree. She said those for y'all. What do you mean? But you know what? It's my brother being a kid. So, cleanser. This is the toner that I used. The cleanser that I used is by the Inky List. The fulvic acid brightening cleanser and then i just put that with the apricot scrub from target which is like um say knives apricot scrub and then um i'm gonna use let this dry a little bit and then put on some more of this acne treatment by paula's choice it's the daily skin acne skin clearing treatment I'm going to put a little bit of this and then I'm going to moisturize and that's going to be it. That is it for me. I'm very much over it. Very much ready for bed. Moisturizer. I'm using the Happy Hydration Cream by e.l.f. This is the hemp, de hemp derived cannabis sativa seed oil version. I think they have more than one version of this. But this is what I'm using, and I'm using the same um, facial oil, the hemp-derived cannabis sativa facial oil. I usually do between three and four drops of the face oil. That was four drops. So this will last you a really long time. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kinda do quite a bit of um, ah, cream, about that much. Alright, so that's pretty much it for me. Skin's clean. Ooh, that looks so bad. <sighs> but the kids are downstairs um, finishing their chores for the night. About to find something to watch and chill out until I fall asleep. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Ooh, <clears throat> Alright, y'all. We got some deliveries that I want to show y'all. Oh, this is not really much to show, but get this to your dad. I just got some deodorant for burning. It's a Target, um, Target delivery. Get this to your dad. Corey, stop. Get this to your dad. Turn around. I'll put it in your book bag. And you can take it up there. Oh. You All right, take it to your dad. And then they had a sale on the Auden underwear so you can get five for 15 and right now I think it's five for 20 but just check on Target 
um, on the website because you'll be able to find like all the deals there. So I am a this kind of underwear wearer. I don't want to say that out loud because <laughs> all my kids can hear, but um, they had some really cute ones. So I got these like lacy ones. That's what they look like in the back. So I got pink. What you get? I got pretty much all the same ones, but these are green. Super cute. Are these underwear? They're underwear. And then I got, I probably should have got two of this. I got one pair. I thought I did get two. Oh, I did. I did get two of this. So everything is extra large. I got one pair of the like seamless ones. Super thin. Not thin, but you know, they don't have a actual seam on them. And then I got a pair of the black um, lace ones. And then I showed y'all Cody's stuff from H&M. We ended up having to reorder. I think I told y'all that too. Because some of it was a little bit too small. So we reordered the stuff that was too small. I already took, that. I already took it back to the store. Um, and if you decide to order any of this stuff from H&M, make sure you check the site first for deals because I got 20% off the first time I didn't realize that but this time I did not so I paid full price this time but I didn't know that so hold on, hold on. I got the smell of that deodorant on my hands I think it like melted or something but she got these wide leg jeans you want to try them on? sure okay, I'll try those on and then she got that's the only thing she didn't get the first time because she didn't like the rips in the ones that were like light on one side and dark on the other. Um, she didn't like that they had rips in the knees, so we I took it back and I took it back and then I got those instead because those don't have rips. And then she got these just like flare black jeans. And y'all see how tall Cody is? She is a like five feet tall. She's nine slim but tall so it's hard to find jeans for her but I think um these should work I got her a 16 this time I took back the 14s got her a 16 black and white pants which are also flare and then they go with the they go with the sweatshirt it's like a beige Hogwarts sweatshirt and this was a pre put together outfit so you buy it you buy the two pieces together so I'll show y'all what this all looks like on her all right, so here's what they look like. You're going to have to use your imagination <laughs> to figure out like how they would look with an outfit and everything. But um, I don't know how they still like barely long enough when I got her a bigger size. Like, they your feet. Anyways, that's what they look like. I, I like them. I think they're cute. And once she gets an outfit like with some tennis shoes and stuff, I think it's going to be real cute with some white tennis shoes and one of her little shirts that she got. We actually just just decided to go ahead and return those because she said they were a little bit too tight on her stomach. Um, so yeah, those are going back. Okay, this one fits cute. It's long enough. Not too tight, right? Nope. Yeah, this is really cute. What are you doing? It's hood. Why are you doing that? You look insane. <laughs> Cody. Anyways, this is cute. We're going to keep this one. Those fit perfect. They're not too tight, right? How do they feel on your on your stomach? Feel like they're not really squeezing. Good. Kind of just sit on top of it. Good, good. They, they look cute. Those are perfect. I'm going to get you those in some other colors because those are cute. I wouldn't even mind if these jeans are ripped. Bye, Cody. My name is Cory, and I'm the photographer you've been waiting for. Yeah, you don't want boring little moms. I know, I know, I know. You got boring, you got bad old kids. Bye. See you in another minute. What's up, y'all? So it is, what's today? Tuesday. 
January 2nd. So it is um, the, day after, the day after New Year's Day and I am just leaving the grocery store, getting some groceries for the week to kind of prepare for starting to meal prep or just have some healthier food in the house because we've been eating crazy recently. Um, and I just wanted to share with y'all that I decided not to do New Year's resolutions this year. And there are a couple reasons why. So I wanted to like talk about my reasoning behind not doing New Year's New Year's resolutions. <clears throat> I can't speak. I don't know why. So bear with me. I'm sorry. The first reason is because New Year's resolutions, I just feel like are not only cliche, but also just one of those things that you kind of feel like you need to do it but you set these like really lofty goals for yourself and they're things that you haven't been doing, maybe that you aspire to, but you have not been doing them and they're only the end goal. They're not the actions that are gonna get you to the end goal. Um, and I think that's what makes them unattainable. It's not, I want to eat three fruits and three vegetables per day. It's, I wanna lose a hundred pounds. It's not, I want to find a job I love. It's, I want to make $100,000 a year. You know what I mean? So it just kind of makes it unattainable. It makes it harder than, than it has to be. Whereas if you set smaller goals, it makes them easier to reach, which helps you climb that ladder. And usually faster because you, it's, it's attainable to you. It feels, it feels easier to achieve, which makes you work harder at achieving it. So... I'm not doing new, new year's resolutions um a lot of the stuff that i wrote down last year that i wanted to do not necessarily as a new year's resolution oh lord the road is blocked and that is literally well maybe not literally but that is like pretty much my only way to get home so last year i wrote i don't i don't know that i did new year's resolutions but i wrote a list of um uh, Oh, they unblocked it. I wrote a list of things that I wanted to accomplish last year. And actually, I, I accomplished quite a bit of them. Um, some things are kind of still working. They're still in the works, but they haven't completely come to fruition yet. But what I realized in 2022 was that <clears throat> you can want something and you can write it down and you can work toward it and have every intention of accomplishing it. And even when you do, you realize that it comes to you in unexpected ways so yes we got a house this year that was one of my things for this year I wanted to build my house I wanted to move into it I wanted to accomplish that goal we did that we are now first-time home homeowners we built our house we moved into it we're starting to furnish it all that happened but like I had to um, start a new career to make that happen and I didn't I didn't think that would be the case I thought that I would I thought that I wanted it to come in this and I wanted to be in the same situation that I was in last year but that's not that's not the way it worked out so you know that's just one example so what I decided to do instead of New Year's resolutions this year is to um, well I know I don't know well okay so if you guys are on TikTok you may have seen this kind of somewhat viral trend that's happening right now where people are doing their list of 300 things so it's kind of a wish list and you're gonna see it it's on a Steve Harvey um, a, a audio clip from Steve Harvey where he says write down 300 things <clears throat> sorry I'm getting over a cold but he says write down 300 things that you love that you really want this year whether it's like any 300 things you want it could be things it could be ideals it could be pretty much anything you can think of that you want and um read it every day and then at the end of the year check off everything you've accomplished so i think that's a much better way to look at um goal setting and achievement because i just think for one to come up with 300 things that you want is mind expanding it forces you to really think about what you could what you will possibly want because it goes well beyond what you know those main things that you might want and it forces you to really think about some other things that you can also add to that list that you know <clears throat> that you may want but that you never would have thought of if you stopped at new year's resolutions because typically you only would do like five or ten of those so having to write down 300 things is definitely something that 
something will expand your mind, will make you think beyond what you thought. It'll make you write down things that you may never have even, you may not have, you know you want it in the, in the future at some point, but you hadn't thought that it would be possible for this year, whether it is or it isn't. You can always move things that you don't accomplish this year to your list for next year, but it gets your mind thinking about ways to accomplish it and you might be able to make some steps toward those goals even if they're not attainable for this year so I really really like the idea of that and I've already started this morning I went <clears throat> I sat down for about an hour and a half and I just started writing my list so I got to about 150 things and I need to do it probably a couple more times to reach 300 I have things on my list like don't avoid the hard things like pay attention to the details because that's what the devil is like um make a dream make one dream come true for each kid so i gave each kid their own um each kid is one number on my list and then like ordering my car ordering my husband's car paying off one of our, his car like is that attainable this year possibly who knows i don't know i mean i would never have written it as a as a um a resolution because i just wouldn't have thought to but that's something that i would love to do this year if we can get his car and pay it off this year that would be great so we'll see if we're able to do that like getting our first investment property property this year that's another thing i added to my to my um my list of 300 so that's just i just wanted to like put that on y'all's radar because you may not have seen it you may not have heard of it but if you go on tiktok and just type in 300 steve harvey 300 wish list or steve harvey 300 is probably enough um, you'll come up, you'll be able to get um, that audio, you'll be able to hear it, and you'll be able to see, you know, people writing out their list or what their list look like, or <clears throat> you might start to get inspired to do it for yourself. Just got a Target delivery, so, oh, this thing is huge. Let's go ahead and unbox it. I don't think... I don't think I got anything this big. Like, I don't know why it's in such a big box, but. Watch out. I got I think I got six of these small small glam <clears throat> can't talk small glass containers and you can stack them on top of each other it looks like a candle's supposed to go in there like the lid's giving candle lives the lid it's stackable so yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I got six of this smaller size. These are 15 ounces. And they came in like three days. So yeah, so here's the bigger one. It's 22 ounces. So I was thinking I could do like fruit. If you want to do like fruit cups and these or overnight oats. And then in the bigger ones, you could do like salads, a salad jar or any kind of like meal. Like any, like soups, like individual portions of soups would be good in here. So yeah, these are like super cute. You can stack them like that. I'll link them below if y'all are interested in grabbing some. And they're super super affordable. This was $4. These smaller ones are $4. The bigger ones are $6. So yeah. Yay. Okay, y'all. I'm just taking the trash out. But today is the day that all of our... Um, everything that was wrong that we put down on that list that I showed y'all a while ago is getting fixed. So yeah, I know we most likely would not be going with this. We have this in our bathroom. I yeah. think this is the one yep, we have yep, in the bathroom. Yep. Um, I think we would go with something that is more one tone since we have such busy counters. Gotcha. Um, Kind of hard to tell the difference between these. Okay, so that has snow. A bit of a gray look to it. Gray. These both look a little gray too. Yeah, that one's a little bit more. So blue. This is the only white. Do you have? Oh, let me see. 
So we have. I think we would probably white, do white. Off white, and then another off white here. This is a very popular one. It's Splendor. It has a hint of it's. It's called white, but it has a hint of gray to it. Uh, but if you're looking for plain, we can get a three by twelve or a three by six in the white plain. So it's a three by six. Okay. Okay, y'all, it's been a pretty hectic day. I'm about to go outside with Corey for a bit while she drives her car. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to tell y'all everything that happened today and show y'all all the stuff that got fixed and updated and just all the home updates that we had to go over because a lot happened today. And I feel like it was a whole video's worth of stuff. No, it's not the right foot. That's probably why it's feeling weird. Yeah. Um, you have to... Don't leave without me. I'm not leaving. Okay, so one of the things that got fixed was they made this door. They added a spring load hinge to this door. So now if we open it, it'll close by itself. So it'll never be open, just completely left open anymore. If it's like halfway open, it may not close completely. But sometimes it will, but... Like if I open it here, see how it like didn't fully close. But if I open it all the way back here, hold on, then it will close. You got it caught on the thing. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, how cold is it out here? I'm not leaving you. I'm just going out right here. You can come on when you're done. Um, so, another thing was we had to call about our... Come on, go your car. <gasps> okay, go forward. Come on, come here. Now turn the wheel that way. Turn Actually, turn the wheel this way. Now back up. Now back up. Hit it. Yeah, back up. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I did it right. Hold on. All right, now go. So yeah, we go this way, Corey. Go this way. Okay. Yeah. So one of the things that was broken, not broken, but um, our heat stopped working the last couple days. I might just need to tell y'all when I get in the house because this car is so loud. Yeah, I'll tell y'all when I get in the house. Actually, what I'm gonna do is show y'all the closets first. That's Bernie snoring. He just got home from work and I guess took a shower and stuff and now he's asleep. Oh, look at the, there's a whole tractor <laughs> going by the house. Oh, I didn't get to show y'all this house across the street recently. It is almost done. Like, that's crazy. But yeah, so I showed y'all um, Corey's closet already. It's a little bit messy right now because she's been trying to get her own clothes out. And now they're in her basket. But overall, it's been like almost two weeks. And her closet is still pretty much how it was when I first did it. It's like a little bit of nonsense going on. But overall, it's pretty much in the same condition that it was when I first um, put her closet together. And did all the organizing. So yeah. This is Corey's closet. And then of course, well not of course. Because y'all may not know, but um, you always get a shelf. You always have to pick a shelf to put at the top of the closet. So um, this closet is pretty much floor to ceiling because it goes all the way to the floor down here. And then all the way to the ceiling pretty much up here. There's only maybe a foot of space up there that doesn't go to the ceiling. So what you could do is put like your winter clothes above there and then um, keep your summer clothes and stuff in the drawers. But yeah, so this is her closet. But um, I don't think I got to show y'all Cody's closet. 
since it was completed 100%. Um, so this is Cody's closet. Let me straighten it a little bit. This is real life. What in the actual hell? You know what? She gonna scrub that. This chair is new. She just got this for Christmas. It is now December the 5th and she got pen on this chair. She got pen on the desk. Like what do kids be doing? I don't understand. Anyways, she was supposed to be doing her work, not writing on the chair. But clearly she decided to write on the chair. And she's going to use whatever she can use to scrub that off. But yeah, so um, they all have four shoe racks. The top one is tall enough to put boots on. You could also um, shift it around and maybe put this one here. And then it would give you this one would be tall enough to put boots on. And then they all got four, five drawers. So these are her, her drawers. Hers looks pretty similar to the first day I did it. Not anything crazy. I mean, she did this herself and she just threw her new clothes in here any kind of way, even though she should have uh, hung them, which I'm going to make her do when she comes back. But yeah, all of her other clothes are, the ones that are clean are in here right now. She also got her desk set up in here with her keyboard, mouse, and her new computer. Uh, she got an iMac for Christmas. Her desk is from Amazon. Her chair is from Amazon. Her computer was pre-loved. It's from Back Market. And if I can find a code or something to get y'all some money off there, I will. Um, maybe there's like a referral code or something. We'll see. But yeah, so this is her closet. This is what it looks like right now. I started trying to patch the holes in the walls, which I filmed. So it's probably like in, la in the last video. But... I have not come back to sand those and like complete the process. And then let me show y'all Kane's room. I never got to show y'all his completed room. Um, first of all, I'm, we made his bed this morning. I guess he got in it because we got up super early. I'm going to make it real quick. And then I'm going to show y'all once it's made. So here's his bed made. Um, I showed y'all this duvet, but y'all, I absolutely love this duvet i love it like it's so nice this is from pottery barntine i'll link it um and then i found this pillow right here this was probably also in the last video but i found it at walmart really cheap for 12 dollars. and then sheets are from amazon pillow covers these are really nice chenille pillow covers why is my camera not focusing but um it really does not want to focus. I don't know why. Let me turn it off and back on. Kind of hard to show y'all the texture um, on camera, but it is really thick. It's really soft. It feels really good. Um, his sheets, like I said, are from Amazon. He made his own bed, so you have to kind of sacrifice perfection if you're going to let your kids be independent. Um, but yeah, I love the way his bed turned out. This light... It's actually a, a, sign, a sign and a light. And it was a Christmas gift from my mom. It has his name on it. Uh, but so Bernie went ahead and put it up. But it's going to be. So let me show you what it looks like when it's on. It came with a remote. And that's what it looks like when it's actually on. And off. Um, but the plan for his room was always to have some additional lights up here so we're going to do like a pac-man light up there we're also going to do maybe a neon game controller so there's going to be some additional lights above his bed that kind of tie in that gaming theme and also pac-man so yeah this is what his bed looks like right now again his room is not completely done but mostly done here's his ceiling fan they all have the same ceiling fan and then he just recently got his chair. So this is his gaming chair. This is from Amazon. And I told him to fold the arms up when he puts when he pull, uh, pushes the chair in, but he does not listen. So it wasn't folded up. But this is his computer. No, not his computer. He has a computer down here, a tower. And then he also has a TV that he's using for a monitor. This mouse. Um, this keyboard is from Amazon. His desk is from Amazon and it actually has like that textured material that kind of could work as a mouse pad as well. 
But yeah, this is his room and then his closet. Watch out, Corey. And then here's his closet. It's pretty much the same as Corey's. His is just a little bit more messy. Because, let me turn the light on. Alright, had to turn the light on just so y'all can see. Because it's so dark in here now. It's getting dark outside. But, um, yeah, his closet. Pretty much the same as Corey's. He has the shelf at the top. He has hanging areas, except he has three. Because his closet was big enough to get all three sections. And then, um... Four shoe racks just like hers five baskets and again his is just a little bit more messy because he's been in here um but yeah here are all of his t-shirts underwear and socks um these are jeans or um, all long pants and then shorts and then down here he just has, a, has an extra drawer and over here he has a coat and that he should have hung up, but I was too lazy to do it clearly. And then a uh, um, pair of shorts that he just took off to go outside and play because he put on sweatpants. So yeah, that's all three kids' closets. There's his, here's what his bed looks like when it's a little bit brighter and you can actually see. This is nice and bright and I love the way it kind of echoes the blue that's over here which is the reason why I got him a black and blue chair because it's kind of carrying that blue and black throughout the room. And this is what the bed looks like. Again, the bed is from Amazon. Y'all have seen that bed. I don't know how many times at this point, but his bed is from Amazon. When his room's done, I'll do a room tour and then, you know, tell you guys where everything is from. But I'm also telling you, like, throughout the process. But yeah, I think that's it as far as... um that stuff the only other closet to show y'all would be the one downstairs but it's exactly the same as these so let me show y'all the stuff they got done today the first one of the first things that they did was recalk all of these things because they are all they were all like oh is that wet they were all like coming apart right there not coming apart but like what's the word they were cracking the clock was cracking and it just looked crazy so yeah they recalked another thing they another thing they did was made it so this bathroom door la locks because it wasn't locking initially turn this fan off and turn the light on and then they also just recalked around the tub this was the same thing it had like it wasn't let me turn it on it just wasn't it was it was cracking in right here too so they did it right here same thing right here watch out Corey it's also cracking right here so they fixed it and then I'm recovering from a cold so that's why I sound like this but um let me show y'all what else so it was the garage door it was recalking all of these bathrooms it was fixing the knobs um oh king's door his bedroom door also wouldn't lock this door wouldn't lock but now it does so we couldn't lock the bathroom door which was very annoying another thing they fixed was right here they kind of overcut to um, put the stair down and there was like a hole right here so they patched it and they filled it in and um, put the right color down to match the steps and then some of these were loose right here so they um, screwed those down somebody hit something right here and it was kind of chipped right here they fixed that there was a huge not huge but there was like a gouge in the wall right here they fixed that looks perfect now you can't even tell it was there um and then Alexa turn the lights on daylight. Okay. And hello, this is meat and person. Okay, so in the kitchen area. And I love my coffee mom. This was almost completely gone right here. So they recalked that. Um pretty much the whole way down. And then the floors. So the floors are peeling in like multiple areas. The the vinyl flooring is peeling up and you can see the seams. Watch out, Corey. Right here. Move, Corey. 
right here and lift it completely and it's just like showing the underfloor. So what happened was they decided that um, rather than trying to like pull this floor up and redo it, they would just lay vinyl plank flooring over top of it, which is perfect because I was actually really considering, I don't know yet. I was actually really considering putting down hardwood floors that before we got the furniture because I didn't want the table I'm thinking about getting is made of concrete and I didn't want it to, I don't want to have to move it after we put the floors down um, and then try to, Why go here? what the hell? If you don't clean that up, cause ain't nobody do that but you. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. Um, yeah, I didn't want to have to like try to clean it. I'm not playing with you, Corey. Clean it up. Put those in the sink. You doing too much. But yeah, it just made more sense to me to have the new floor down before we would try and bring new furniture or like get furniture and then have to move that furniture and then put down a new floor and then put the furniture back. Like it just made more sense to have the floor already down before the furniture was delivered. So that was right on time. <laughs> so they gave me some samples of some new flooring that we could choose from. So I'll show y'all this. So in addition to these samples, he also, which he left with me to kind of, you know, go through, he also emailed or um, texted me a link to some additional colors. Um, but let me show y'all these. So this is kind of like a grayish brownish color. And then we have like a light brown oak, which was a no for me. And then this is a maple super light, but I don't like it. Then we have this dark elm. We have beech oak, which is a more grayish tone, and then um, kind of a weathered oak, brown oak, and then another grayish. This one is gray chestnut. Corey, this one is gray chestnut, so it's another kind of grayish brown, but more on the gray side. You know, just a really, I got some more neutral brown. Um, so drop a comment below and let me know which one of these y'all think I chose. I wasn't a fan of any of the other ones that they, the, any of the additional colors that he sent, but drop a comment and let me know which one of these you think I chose. Um, and yeah, I'll tell y'all probably in the next video when they actually come to install it so y'all can see. So yeah, that got done today. And then another thing that happened was he was in here because he was helping me with the flooring. And then he was like, were you guys thinking about doing backsplash? Adding a backsplash? And I was like, um, yeah, we were. Cause I was actually thinking about it, but I wasn't, I hadn't tackled it yet or started looking into it yet. Cause I didn't want to have to figure out who to use. Like I didn't want to have to try to find a contractor and like go through that whole process. So I was like, yeah, um, we have been thinking about it, but you know, we haven't started the process yet. So he was like, we actually do that too and I can show you some samples if you're interested so he brought some samples in and it in the end um, he ended up sending me a link to where I could look at some additional samples tile samples because um, none of the ones that he had were what I would have chosen for myself um, so when I got the additional samples, I was, or when I went onto the website, I was able to see some stuff that I actually would choose. Um, and then I started thinking like, maybe I should do a back, a black backsplash because I think that would look really, really nice with, um, I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all the flow we got so y'all can see it all together. Okay. So this is the floor that we're choosing. And it looks really good with the counters, right? This with this looks good. Now let me show y'all with both the counters and the cabinets. So this is gonna be against the cabinets, right? On the floor, it's gonna be against the cabinets. It's not, I like how the cabinets, how it's not like trying to match it, but it still kind of goes. It's just a really neutral color and y'all are getting to see it in all different kinds of lighting. So it's probably hopefully giving you like a good idea of how it'll look, but I think it'll look really, really good against the floors, um, kind of butted up against the cabinets. And I also think it'll look, it'll transition. It'll be a good transition from the counters to the cabinets, to the floors. Um, in addition to that, I was like, well, initially I was thinking about doing a white backsplash. So right here, 
Um, it's going to go from obviously this cabinet all the way over there by the refrigerator. Um, so from this cabinet to the end of here and then um, underneath those cabinets under the microwave. I asked him about some glass, some white glass black backsplashes. Um, and he showed me some different options. I was able to look at some additional options besides the one he showed, the ones he looked up. Um, and I found some that I thought were nice, but then once I saw the black, I was sold. I was like, that's probably gonna be it. So I actually um, found a glass tile, uh, like a glass, yeah, a glass back, glass, oh my gosh, a black glass tile that I think would look really nice, especially if we get them to lay it in, lay it in a herringbone pattern. Um, but then I also found a matte black tile that I think would look even better because it's not shiny. It has like that almost like subway tile look, but it's black. Hopefully y'all see a picture of it right now. I'm obsessed with the idea of having a black backsplash because all of my accessories and everything that I tend to buy are white. Like I usually buy, like my coffee maker's white, my frother's white. Most of the things that I put on the counters are gonna be white. So I think having a, back, a black backsplash would look really, really nice. I think it'll elevate it, give it a little bit of moodiness. Plus we're also gonna paint. We're gonna keep the paint in this house white. So with all that white, I think the black would look really, really good. Um, so yeah, y'all gonna have to stay tuned for that. That should be happening in the next couple weeks. I haven't chosen um, an actual backsplash yet because he's he got samples and he's sending them to me. So as soon as I have the samples, I will be choosing one and then we'll go from there. Um, in addition to that, <laughs> Um, I started telling y'all earlier that the heat wasn't working. It was, for some reason, the um, normal heat just stopped working and we had to put it on emergency heat. So I called the company that handles that, the heating and air company that actually installed the system, and they came out today too. I called them yesterday. They came today, um, this morning, and he said that we needed a new compressor, so he tried to order a new compressor, but what ended up happening was they said they're just gonna replace the whole unit rather than um, just replacing the compressor. So they're ordering it today and we'll be receiving a brand new air conditioning unit um, probably in the, next, in the next week or two. So that's another thing that we, <laughs> that just kind of worked in our favor today. So we got a new air conditioning unit, we got new floors. Um, and then um, I was talking to the guy that was one of the guys that was actually doing the work to like patch the holes and all that stuff today. And I asked him if they would be, would um, be willing to do some painting and he said yeah so I'm gonna pick out a paint color and have him come and paint the whole house pretty soon um, because yeah they do side work so um, yeah we'll be picking out paint colors too pretty soon and we'll have them come and repaint the whole house and that way by the time the furniture arrives the house will be painted the floors will be down and everything will be ready to go we'll have our backsplash Everything will be ready to go and we can just start adding decor. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited because I'm ready to get everything like, kind of like the base layers in place because I was dreading having to do, having to pay for paint for somebody, if having to find a painter and then having to pay for it because I just knew it would be a million dollars. But um, since they already have seen the house, they know what the scope of the work looks like. They probably did the paint the first time. Um, they know what to expect. So he said he was gonna call me tonight or um, pretty soon and then we would discuss pricing and all that. Because I have kids, I think it'll be easier to clean in eggshell paint, so we'll see. But we need to start going to like Home Depot and Lowe's and we need to pick out some paints. So I'll be doing that with y'all pretty soon. We'll be looking for some paint and yeah, a lot of exciting updates in this video. No Corey. A lot of exciting updates in this video. So um, I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to let y'all go because I feel like this video is really long. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Like this video and subscribe. Oh, yeah. Make sure you subscribe if you like this video because you'll like all the other ones. They're very similar. And yeah, check down below. Check the link. I mean, check the description box for links to everything, including my Amazon store. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so, 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 so much for watching. We appreciate every time you guys click on one of my videos yeah, um, and support and the channel. Video. And yeah, thank you and we'll see you next time.